Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about one hand passes, why every player needs to know how to do a one hand pass. But first, check out this amazing basketball court, Fort Lauderdale Beach, Florida. Just remember, any dream that you ever have in your life, it's possible if you put in enough work. I put, I post two videos a day on this channel to make this happen and it's happening and I absolutely love it, so thank you. And also thanks to Wooter for giving me stuff like shorts. I got shirts. I got actually uh, a whole bunch of shirts uh, back at the hotel room. I've got shorts on right now of theirs. Thank you. But first, let's get down to it. One hand passes. Why are they important? Why do players need to know how to do a one hand pass? Now, first off, if you're doing a two hand pass, it's going to be a lot stronger. You can get two hands on it and you can really push. You can push, flick your thumbs down and extend and it's going to give you a really strong pass. I'm not going to deny that. However, with a one hand pass, you can really bomb it really straight and even when I pass with two hands, I'm actually only passing with one. That's kind of like my pass right there. Now the reason why I do it that way is because it gives me a little bit more accuracy. But another thing too is with one hand, I'm going to talk to you about what the Toronto Raptors taught all the players and all the coaches at the Players and Coaches Open House recently in Toronto. Okay, so if you're a post player, for example, right, and you get that ball out in the perimeter, and now you're obviously looking to pass with two hands for players along the baseline. However, if you start dribbling, you want to be able to pass with one hand because it's going to be quicker. You don't have to pick it up and then pass. So number one, passing with one hand is going to be a lot quicker for you. You can go along and you can bomb it with one hand. Now another thing that is really great with being able to pass with one hand is the ability to now not lose your dribble. So if you're going along and you're dribbling, if the ball's not slippery and you go and you need a pass to somebody, but then they're covered, you can bounce again and you're, you still have your dribble. You haven't carried the ball at all and now you can keep on dribbling. And again, you need a pass, but no, it's not there, that's fine. And then you can keep on dribbling. If you were instead gonna pick it up and pass with two hands, what's gonna happen there is you've lost your dribble. And that's an absolutely horrible feeling. If you're dribbling along, you know you can sort of beat this player and then all of a sudden, the player who's cutting baseline is no longer open. Now you're stuck here. You're like, oh no, who should I pass to? So what you need to do is start learning how to pass with one hand, how to pass with one hand on the dribble so that now you can get that pass through quickly, but also the ability to not lose your dribble. I think I've said that about 20 times in this video so far. Okay, so basically what I've gone over today is the importance of the one hand pass, being able to know how to do the one hand pass. But now I'm gonna teach you the skills on how to do the one hand pass properly. So with the one hand pass, you just don't wanna have it like willy nilly go anywhere. You obviously wanna have accuracy on it. And it's very similar to a, a, a shot in basketball. Extremely similar to a shot in basketball. If only I could have got that shot in. But with a one hand pass, what you're doing is having it the same idea, you're passing it and you're having it roll off that middle finger. The reason why you wanna have it roll off the middle finger is it's the longest finger on your hand. It's the same idea as your shot when you're shooting the ball. You want the ball to go off that middle finger because you want the ball to go straight. If the ball goes off these two fingers, it's gonna go off that way. If the ball goes off those two fingers, it's gonna go off that way. So you want the ball to go off that middle finger. Sort of like how you can say F off to players sometimes, I guess, maybe, no, okay. So you want that ball to go off that middle finger. Same idea as when you pass with one hand, you want that ball to go off one finger. That's essentially the skill. That's, that's all there is to it. What you need to do to practice it is to find a wall somewhere, which I don't have any right here, but Find a wall, find a spot on the wall. If you're a coach, put an X on the wall and say, hey players, I want you guys to dribble past it, maybe have the wall the distance of the baseline away, 
and have them shoot the, the length of the, the free throw line and just have them dribble along, pass it with one hand, hit that mark, grab their, their ball, go in the back of the line and try again. Then you can stack it and say, okay, while, I, while you're dribbling, if I say no pass, not open, not open, that player now needs to go fake that pass and keep on dribbling. So with this skill, you're going to be an even better and well-rounded basketball player. Whether you're a center, a forward, or a guard, you all need to know how to pass. So definitely take this video, learn from it, and of course, train the pro way, I guess. I guess that's somebody else's uh, uh, saying, but I used to say that all the time in my videos. Anyways, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Thanks to Wooter and uh, thanks to you guys as well. I'll see you guys again in my next video, which is coming out tomorrow. So I'll see you guys there.